Hello, I'm Richard Bankard, and today we're going to look at how to add your Ignite Gallery content to an article. Stay tuned, we're going to get started right now. Uh, good morning and uh, welcome to Richard Banker Web Design. Today we are going back and looking at Ignite Gallery. I did a video on Ignite Gallery a while ago and uh, we have some more questions. So we're going to go back and we're specifically looking this morning at how to add an Ignite Gallery right into your Joomla article. So if you go to first Ignite Gallery's commercial component, you can find it at ignitegallery.com and here you can go to the, after you pray for it you can go to your download page and there's a whole bunch of downloads that you have on here now the downloads you need are first your ignite gallery component and then uh, these two right here this content plugin and the gallery editor plugin so download and install those and then you'll have to go into extensions plugins And you'll have to enable your content, Ignite Gallery, and I want to enable my button as well. So now we're ready to go. Now I've already gone in and I've gone into my Ignite Gallery. And the three steps for getting started, if you're just getting started, just a quick recap. If you want to see everything again, then here's a link to my other video. You can check that out. Uh, first thing you need to do is profiles, create a profile. Uh, second thing you'll have to do is create a category. Third thing you'll have to do is create images. And if you go to here, if you created a category and you don't see how you can add images, you have to select category and then this will open up. Okay, we're ready to go. Uh, content, articles, and um, I article that I want to put it into is our Joomla testing one at the front. We're going to replace that uh, video that we put up yesterday. So Joomla testing, I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to get rid of this just so we can see. Now at the bottom of this, since we enabled our button, we now have a gallery button down here. And if I click on the gallery button, it brings up this box. Single gallery of images here you can choose. So I will just go random and the category that we want. We only have one category, so that's all we're going to use. And the profile we will also have to select the default one. That's the only one I created, so that's the only one we can use. And then save and close. And it will insert automatically this short code for you. So it saves you some time. We will go save. So you can see our short code is still there. So now when we go to our home page, you can see we now have our gallery on the front. Now this is the default. If you want to go in, you can play with this till your heart's content and you can create all sorts of different things. This is just a simple way to do it, inserting a gallery into your content. Uh, to play with all of the different options that there are, you can go back into components, into Ignite Gallery, and you use your profiles. And these profiles, you can set up different profiles for different uh, slideshows, galleries, depending on what you need. And so within this, there's just a million different options for you to play with. But back to our main thing, that is how simple it is to add an image gallery to your content. Thanks for stopping by Richard Banker Web Design. Hope you have a great day.